365 days, or one whole year if we're being specific, a lot can happen in this time. Children can be born, you can graduate college, you can even learn a new language pretty well. For Twitch streamer Winning Sequence, however, leaving an AI to play Pokemon Sapphire using only the digits of Pi as instruction was the best thing they had. And that's exactly what they did. Now, to be totally honest, I think this is an incredibly sick idea. I absolutely love concepts like this. I remember being amazed at the Shakespeare Infinite Monkey Theorem when I was younger, which if you're unfamiliar, states that given enough time, a monkey banging on a typewriter will eventually write the entire works of Shakespeare. The thought of infinity just blows my mind as a whole, so when I thought, found this on my YouTube feed, I couldn't help but get excited. Now, you may have seen previously that I did actually make a short on this, but after I got to thinking, there's a lot more information to unpack here than what can be said in 60 seconds. So let me give you a little background. On the 16th of October, 2021, a copy of Pokemon Sapphire was booted up on a cloud server, with the only inputs coming in the form of Pi's digits. For anyone that doesn't know, Pi is a mathematical constant. It's infinite just like the suffering of the poor player character we're about to watch. Because you see, after a full year of constant playtime, we have yet to leave the first time. We haven't even fought a rival for the first time yet, something that usually takes players around 15 minutes upon starting a new save. Think of this as something of an anti-speedrun. So, not long after uploading my initial short on this, it really hit me that I need to go deeper into this project. The best way for me to do this was obviously to go directly to the source, and that is what I did. Through the email provided on their YouTube channel, I emailed the evil genius behind this insane scheme. I provided my Discord user and waited. Not 12 hours later, I woke up to a friend request on Discord. The name? Armatile. Remember it because they will go down in history right next to Einstein and Nikola Tesla. I quickly gave them a rundown of who I was and what I wanted to do. I also explained that I was a big fan of the concept and what they were doing as a whole. But then, nothing. I didn't get a reply. Honestly, I was a little worried. I thought I'd maybe spooked him with being such a small creator that maybe he didn't want to work with me or if I'd said something wrong. And just as I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get a response, I was hit with a wall of text. <laughs> and it was one of the nicest and most informative messages I could have received. I will have the entire message playing in the background here for you to see, but I'll just give you a quick brief summary of some key points. So, to start with, Armatile explained to me that their key inspiration for this project was the Fish Plays Pokemon series from a channel called Mutakamaru. Now if I pronounce that wrong, please shout at me. At first, I didn't have a clue what he was talking about, but after looking into this channel, I remember briefly reading some articles on them a few years back. Basically, the entire concept of the fish series is very similar to the way this challenge works. It's entirely random. There are two fish in a tank, and the tank is hived off into different sections. Each section is designated a button on a console, and when the fish swims into that section, the corresponding button is inputted. Funnily enough, he also mentioned the Infinite Monkey Theorem, which I thought was incredibly cool. One of my questions that he answered before I even got a chance to ask was how exactly he gets this to work. Now, I know I mentioned before that this is hosted on a cloud server, but he kind of specified. So, the game is hosted on a Google cloud server. This is how he manages to keep the game running 24-7, which makes complete sense, but the biggest shock that I had from this is that he is currently paying nearly $100 a month to keep the servers running on this project. That's a lot of money. Considering this isn't something that's pulling in any revenue at the moment, this person is keeping this going purely for his passion towards the project, which I absolutely love. He also defended his configuration of the control scheme. If you jump in the stream or read the comments on a handful of the videos, the biggest complaint being made is that because the start button has been mapped to two numbers, it's slowing the progress of the game. Now, Armatile admits that while this is causing some slow progress now, it could dramatically help in the future when it comes to the stage where HMs and items are required. Which to be honest does make a lot of sense, I know later on in the game when you're looking for things like HMs or certain items to get across areas of the map, it's going to be very very difficult if the button is only mapped to one number. So I do totally agree with this, uh, at first I did think it was a little bit weird, but now that I've actually had an explanation from himself, I think it does work out perfectly fine. Now, one of the key questions I had that was very exciting to get reply on was how long did he estimate this was going to take? 
Well, to start with, Armatile has programmed the server to store up to 1 billion digits of Pi so far. This will roughly take 30 years to get through. However, based on the current situation of the game, I personally feel this will not be enough time. Obviously, Armatile couldn't give me an exact answer on this, but he does believe the pace of the game will slow down even further once we progress deeper into the game. I'll take a £10 bet on this lasting well over 100 years. Anyone want to take those odds? I have to say, it is very addictive though. I have found myself sitting and watching this stream at all times of the day. I don't really know why in all honesty, Brendan never goes anywhere, he just walks in circles. But I think the thing is, there's a big what if. What if man, what if he just doesn't walk in circles one day and decides enough is enough? The best bit is, it will happen because there is the infinite possibility of an endless number of scenarios. Unlike humans who get bored, tired and require breaks, this ungodly beast of an AI will play Pokemon Sapphire till the end of time if it really takes that long. Obviously, things happen that may not allow this project to run endlessly, however the fact that I could sit with my grandkids in 40 years time and watch this bot finally beat Roxanne and gain its first gym badge is pretty insane. Over on their YouTube channel, Winning Sequence keeps a running diary of Brendan's never-ending tour of Little Root Town. They've uploaded every minute of the stream to date, totaling somewhere near 8,500 hours of footage. As much as I love the idea of this project, it really isn't feasible to sit and watch the entirety of Winning Sequence catalogue, though it's probably still more entertaining than Cats was. You should still head over there and check it out, because one day we may actually see Old Ale Town, and you wouldn't want to miss it. On a more serious note, Armatile did say that he will be uploading any highlights of the streams, such as the battle with May, possibly the first gym leader when we eventually get there, but things like that, notable events in the stream will be getting uploaded in shorter sequences um, as highlight reels. So please, go check out his channel, and um, subscribe if you're interested in this sort of thing, I know I certainly am, so yeah, please, go check him out and follow along on the journey. There are endless possibilities of how this run will go, we know the start, we know the end, but everything in between is a mystery. Much like when Twitch Plays Pokemon first came around, there was a complete mystery on how the game would play out. Pi vs Pokemon Sapphire might not be playing out as quickly as TPP did, but by god, the mystery is still there. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you made it this far, thank you very much, it's very much appreciated. Any constructive criticism is welcome, and of course, please subscribe, give us a like, it really does help the channel. I've noticed a good bit of growth even in the past sort of week and a half that I've started doing this. But yeah, this video was a lot of fun to make, really like the topic, and Armatile as well really helped to make it good, so huge thanks to him, he was the creator and operator of this crazy project, and without him this video never would have existed, so thank you guys, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.